Could obesity be a matter of biology? New research coming out of UT Southwestern suggests the chronic disease could be tied to differences in the brain. And as Robbie Owens reports, the findings may help millions of people who can't control the urge to eat. I do not know a single obese person who likes being obese. At one point weighing 400 pounds, that Craig Thompson is not the man he was is obvious. I couldn't have gotten in it. Not only couldn't I have not have fit, but I was over the weight limit for two people for this plane and came back here and landed at Addison. He credits bariatric dinner, surgery 20 was, years ago for getting his life off the ground, but he still had questions. Every diet that's out there, every surgical option that's out there only treats the symptom. It does not treat the cause. Why do we eat is where the real mystery is. Now researchers at UT Southwestern say they can prove that the brain functioning of obese patients is in fact different. We were pretty stunned, <laughs> yes. Dr. Nancy Pesaferi is an assistant professor of surgery and the senior author of the study. Using MRI technology, researchers studied the brain activity of obese patients and lean study subjects while they were fasting and then again after they had eaten and reported that they were full. In people who don't have a weight problem, those areas of the brain completely die down. There's no discernible activity. And in people who have a significant weight problem, it's as if they haven't eaten at all. Their brains were acting just as they were when they were hungry. It's objective scientific evidence that they're different than people who don't have a weight problem. Following bariatric surgery, researchers found that the brain activity of obese patients began to more closely resemble that of lean patients. The long-term goal is to find a way to mimic those hormonal changes that drive the brain activity without surgery. It provides a window of hope because we all just think that we're doing it because we're defective, we're broken. Why is this happening and how can we start dealing with the root issue? That's where the real hope can start coming in. In Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.